Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to The Commoner. One of my favorite things about creating my YouTube channel is all the amazing people that I have met from the Harry Potter community. If you guys have watched my bookshelf tour, then you know that I do have a few items that have been sent to me from my friend Joe, who you can find at Joe Weasley one on TikTok. Now, Joe has been so kind that she has sent me a couple more boxes and I know a few of the things that are in here, but there is one whole box that is a mystery box. So stay tuned if you would like to see what items Joe has sent me. So before I get into these packages, I just wanna let you guys know again that Joe does have a TikTok and I'll link all of her information in the description below. Now, I love her TikTok. If you enjoy Harry Potter, she puts out so many videos of just all the different arts and crafts projects that she does. She is always making things related to Harry Potter in her Harry Potter room, usually watching Harry Potter. I just love it. So definitely go give her a look on TikTok because she's incredible. Now I have, so I have two different things from Joe. I have this package right here which I believe I know everything that was in this one. But then she also sent me this big box and I don't have any idea what's in this one. She sent it like a picture or told my husband what it was, but he hasn't told me and she hasn't told me. So I'm very excited to see what we have in here. Now the first one I'm gonna open is the this package because I know what's in it. Now, just to give you a little bit of backstory, with the last few items that Joe sent me, I, I recorded a video just of me opening it just for her. I didn't do like a full YouTube video. And it was so incredible. I felt terrible that she didn't have a whole YouTube video for it because she just, she puts everything into what she does. And it was fantastic. So she's getting her own YouTube video this time because I can't wait to see what's in here. So. I took a lot of stuff off of here, like with our addresses, but you can see that there's a little Hogwarts sticker on here. Let me open this up. Now, if I'm correct, there should be maybe a couple t-shirts in here. And you guys, I'm so excited for some Harry Potter shirts because you know I love my Harry Potter shirts. And she has an embroidery machine, so I believe these are embroidered. See, she does the most. Like this is all packaged up with a platform nine and three quarters sticker on it. So I can see the first shirt is a black one. Oh, and I'm in love with it already. So we have, oh, like the softest shirt I've ever felt in my whole life. Oh, you guys, I'm gonna be wearing this so much because I'm a big lover of black shirts and Look at how perfect this is. So you see it's this, again, very soft black t-shirt and it has this beautiful HP for Harry Potter with a golden snitch embroidered on the side. Look how pretty that is. It's so perfectly Harry Potter and I have I bought a skirt for my New York trip. I'm not usually a big wearer of skirts, but it's kind of got like a black and brownish kind of theme to it. I'll have to see if this matches it, but I am obsessed with this shirt. I cannot wait to wear it. I'm debating, I wanna wear these right away, but I'm thinking about just saving them and wearing them on the New York trip for like my first time. They'll just be special on New York and then I can wear them after that. We'll see, but I'm in love with this first shirt that she made me. Now this next shirt, I cannot wait to see it in person because she sent me a picture of it and I'm thinking that it might match the Ravenclaw diadem necklace that I got from my Charmed Aroma candle. And if so, I'm gonna be just putting off some Ravenclaw vibes when I go to New York because I already know I'm gonna be in love with it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Again, amazingly soft t-shirt. 
I love the simplicity of them. Like I have a lot of shirts that I've gotten from like subscription boxes with big bold prints on them. And these are just more minimalistic, but my style and I like it so much. So this is a beautiful white shirt with a blue Deathly Hallows embroidered on it. I love that she used the two different colors of blue. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to have to get that necklace and put it up to it. I think that necklace is going to go great with it. And even though I'm a Slytherin, Ravenclaw is my second house. So I can be a Ravenclaw for a day. But look at how beautiful this is. I like them so much, Joe. You did such a great job on them. I cannot wait to wear them. I really think I'm going to wait till New York. I think they'll just be very special shirts to wear while I'm there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I can hold off waiting until you New York to wear them. Now we get to open my mystery box, which I am so excited about because I honestly have no idea what's in here. I think she said there's a letter on top of it, maybe? We'll see. I thought that there was something on top, but I think it's all kind of wrapped up in parchment paper. So I'm just gonna show you what the top of it looks like. There's this awesome, no, this is not working out. There's this awesome little owl sticker for the owl post in there. <sighs> Sorry, that was a lot more work than I thought it would be. Okay, so I'm gonna just undo that sticker. It says, my letter is in the post. <sighs> you got, see, there's so much stuff in here. Is she, you can tell it's just all individually packaged. Opening stuff from her is like a big present and I love it. Okay, so there is a letter. It says to Magical Alley, but it says open me last. So we're gonna wait to open that. I don't even know what to open first. When I open all this stuff, Joe does not have an Etsy shop and we're gonna all have to tell her that she needs to make an Etsy shop so I can just buy all of this stuff. Let's start. And there's this really, oh, it's really heavy. I don't know what it is. So there's this parcel on top that has a little broomstick on it. And this is really heavy. I don't have any idea what it could be. I can't think of anything heavy that she has made on her channel. I really don't even want to open these and ruin the match. Oh, it's a pen. It is a broomstick pen. Oh, I'm going to use that all the time. I'm so excited. Okay. Let me untie my rope here. Okay, let's see what we have. What is this? She didn't make this. This is something officially licensed. A bunch of stuff officially licensed. I'm going to I'm going to beat you up, Joe. You didn't have to send me any of this stuff. So we have Harry Potter page clips. Magnetic, are they magnetic? Yeah, magnetic page clips with all of our houses on there. Amazing. Oh, oh my God. I love that she did this because not only did she send me a Slytherin notebook, but she sent Chris a Hufflepuff notebook. That is so sweet. It says notebook and page clip set. Oh, it has more page clips on the back of them. I'm going to. I don't even know. I feel like me and Chris are gonna have to take these to New York with us or something and be able to write stuff on them. I don't even know, but I'm so excited for them. What are you? This is beautiful and I've never seen it before. This is a, it says it's a soft cover ruled Aragog notebook. But look at the art on that notebook. That is seriously stunning. I can't use it, it's too pretty. Ugh. All of the little pages in it have little spider webs on the top and have Aragog on there. Joe, you didn't have to send me these, but I'm in love with them. 
Thank you so much. I am in love with this art on the cover of this notebook. It is so pretty. Well, there was our first package that Joe didn't make, but she was amazing to send me those items. Okay. Oh my God. Um, there's so much stuff in here, but there's two bags. So I'm going to open a bag first. So this bag has some blue tissue paper in it and it has a little sticker of Hogwarts on the front of it. You guys, August is my birth month and I just feel like it's just birthday presents. That's how I feel opening this box right now. Okay. Tissue paper. Oh, okay. Oh man, there's something big in here and I don't know what it is yet, but there's also, <gasps> she sent me a little Legos. Oh, it's a, oh goodness, I don't want to break it. It's, you can, I don't know if you can see, but it's a Harry and Hedwig little Lego. I have a very big Lego set possibly coming to me at some point. And I have never built Legos in my life. And I am so excited to have some to start with because the one that I have is going to take me ages. But I am so excited for Legos. There's something else in here though. Oh, she sent me some Harry. Oh, this box is so big. She sent me some Harry Potter stickers. I can see that there's a Ministry of Magic one in here and a Dumbledore's Army. I'm gonna open them and see what all stickers we got. I'm already obsessed with this one. It's just a little one that was hidden from me, but it is the Deathly Hallows. We have this awesome little potion bottle. It might be like a Skelligro, maybe? But you can see it's a potion bottle with a skeleton in it. We have the Ministry of Magic sticker. Of course, we have our Dumbledore's Army sticker. Now these are cool. This one is a Makusa sticker. It says Magical Congress of the USA. And that's beautiful. And then we have, oh, I love this one. It says it's charming. And it has New York on the side. That makes me so excited for New York. And then we have this really pretty Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them sticker. Now guys, I would love to know what you do with your Harry Potter stickers. Because besides these, I only have a couple that I got out of a Cauldron Crate subscription box. And I'm not sure what I should do with them. I definitely want to use them. I know some people put them on their laptops, but I don't have a laptop. I do have an iPad. But let me know what you guys do with your stickers because I'm in love with these, Joe, and I have to use them. But now let's see what big item we have in this bag. I can't tell. It feels like it might be a potion. Now she does make fantastic potions and you can see those on her TikTok. She's got it very nicely wrapped. I love that she sent it in a Ziploc bag because if this would have spilled, it wouldn't have got over all over everything. So that's fantastic. But it's in blue tissue paper. Let's see what it is. <gasps> I have seen her label for this one on her TikTok. Oh, it's so pretty. This bottle is so cool. But you can see it says Membulus Mimbletonia Juice. And it's made by Neville. I love oh, oh, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty. I apologize, this box has been sitting in my kitchen for like a couple weeks because I just haven't had any time to open it. So everything's kind of sat down at the bottom. Look at how beautiful that is. I hope you can see it. If not, I'll try to get some good footage of it. I love her potions and I'm so excited to have something made by Neville on my potion shelf. That's amazing. She 
Should I just go ahead and open the second bag in case there's another potion in it? I feel like I should. Oh, okay, this is a bigger bag. Oh, there's something big in this. Okay, so this one has a sticker on the front that says always. She's got it all packaged up in here. She's gonna have to start working for the subscription boxes because that's what I feel like I'm opening, like a big, wonderful subscription box. So we've got two boxes in here. We've got this white box and this brown box. I'm gonna open them in order that I pulled them out. So we'll do the white one first. More tissue paper. This feels like a square bottle. I'm trying to think, oh, I can see a wax seal on the top of it. <gasps> this is one that I was wanting from her because it's incredible. We have Whomping Willow Sap. You can see she's got her little label there with the Ford Anglia in the Whomping Willow. And then if you look at the potion itself, it, I mean, it looks like sap from a tree. And then it's got this beautiful owl post wax seal on the top of it. And I love the color of the wax on it because it's like a red, but it's like a, it's like an orange tinted red. It just all really goes really nicely together and I'm in love with it. So yeah, I'm super excited for this one. She did a fantastic job on this potion. All right, so let's see what we have in our brown box. So this one feels like maybe another square jar. I've seen this one too. So I have seen this one on Joe's TikTok channel and oh, it's so much better in person. So this is, it's like the perfect charm on it too. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll show you. So this is a homemade jam made by Luna and you can see that it has dirigible plums on the label there. Now, if you look, there's also a dirigible plum charm on here and the actual jam itself has like these little dirigible plums or little seeds in here. I think it's perfect. I don't know, I probably won't put this one on my potion shelf. I'll probably put this one on my Luna shelf. I love it. Okay, it looks like we have three more packages in here. So this next parcel, <sighs> these were just so fun. So this parcel has this awesome DA stamp at the top of it, and then a golden snitch in the middle there. I'm gonna have to save that golden snitch. But let me get this one open. This one feels I would have maybe thought it was a shirt, but I don't think she sent me any other shirts. I have no idea. Let's see. Chris isn't giving me any hints either. Like I honestly have no idea what she sent me and he's not giving it away. So, so I saved our little snitch. <gasps> it's got my name on it. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, you guys can probably tell that this is going to New York with me. It says Magical Alley. I don't think I have anything that says Magical Alley on it. Thank you, Joe. That's amazing. So as you can see, it says Magical Alley and it has this embroidered golden snitch on it. I love that it's black and white. I'm a very neutral person and I like being able to match everything that I have.
She's got something wrapped up in here. And this looks like it might be a shirt. I can't tell. It looks like there's all kinds of shirts. I might not have to wait till New York to wear stuff, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so this, I don't know if you can see, but this is like a, it's like a very light red pinkish color. The design on this shirt is crazy. I am in love with it. So if you can see, it has the HP for Harry Potter, but it has all these cool things in it. Like you can see the nine and three quarters. You can see a snitch. You can see the Deathly Hallows and a, a wand and a letter and a broomstick and the sorting hat. There's so much stuff. Like, look at how incredible that design is. I'm definitely going to have to wear this shirt. <gasps> I see the next shirt and I'm super excited for it. So you guys know I'm a Slytherin and I do have a little bit of a fascination with the dark arts. And oh, sorry, I saw the shirt underneath it and I got equally excited. This one is... <laughs> A dark mark shirt you guys I'm so excited I love like I shouldn't love the dark mark but I love the dark mark let me show you how incredible this dark mark embroidery is I'm in love with it thank you Joe you know me too well <laughs> She's killing me with these shirts. I keep seeing the one underneath it when I lift the one that I'm looking at up. Okay, so first we have, first off I'm in love with this color of this shirt. It's like a dark gray and it has the Weasley symbol on it. It's so perfect. I love that it's the dark shirt with the bright purple and orange from the Weasley symbol. <sighs> Joe, you're spoiling me and I'm forever grateful for it because I'm obsessed with all of these shirts. Like, look at the embroidery on this one. It's stunning. I'm not very crafty, but this makes me want to get an embroidery machine so I can start making my own shirts. But I'm not gonna need any for a while because Joe has me stocked up. So now for the last t-shirt out of this parcel that was in my Magical Alley bag is another one that I'm just so insanely excited about. So it's another one with this beautiful gray colored shirt. It has a green Hogwarts alumni with broomsticks on it and I'm obsessed with it. It's very obviously Slytherin Hogwarts alumni. <sighs> and I'm also gonna wear it all the time. I'm in love with it. They're all so good. I can't believe, how many shirts did she send me? I got like six or seven of them. It's a whole week's worth. It's everything that I need for every day on my New York trip if I wanted. I'm so excited. I don't know which one's my favorite because they're all so unique and just so perfect. But I definitely like this green Hogwarts alumni one because that's me. Let me show you this embroidery up close. These are so amazing. She's just so talented and you can watch her just embroidery stuff and make potions all day long on her TikTok. She has so much content out there and I'm just gonna have to sit down after this and go through all of it and see if I can see her making any of these. So excited. Okay guys, the next to last parcel. 
Now I did untie this one. I haven't looked at it, but I just kind of pre-untied it. But you can see there's a silver dark mark wax seal on there. So let's see what we have. Again, I have no idea at all what could be in here. This also feels like it could be something cloth. Oh, yay! Me and her have kind of talked about these because they are book sleeves. And I told her that I don't have any book sleeves, that I've seen a few of them. And I've always wanted a book sleeve so I can take books like on the planes and stuff with me when we travel. But she sent me three book sleeves. Let's see what they look like. So this one is beautiful. You can see that there is the Hogwarts crest and it's Quidditch themed. It has the broomsticks and the golden snitch and the quaffle. And I really like the colors on this one. It's, it's like a teal and gold. And I like, these are actually very good size book sleeves because I, a lot of my books I have are actually hardback books. And I can tell I'd be able to put one of those in here easily. Or I could even put my iPad in here. Yeah, I'm super excited about the first one. Then we have, oh, I love this one too. This fabric is incredible. So this one has all of our Hogwarts houses. You can see Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff and Gryffindor and Slytherin. I really like the artwork on those. This one, and she even, she lined this one with green to make it even more Slytherin. Oh, I'm so excited to have these. I can't wait to, I'm definitely gonna have to take a book with me on the plane when we go to New York, because I never know what to do to keep me not thinking about the fact that I'm on a plane in the air. So I always take a book with me, just in case. But then we have our last one, which is beautiful. And I can actually see Chris stealing this one from me because he loves Fox. And if he wants to take a book with him on the plane too. You have Fox on here. It has a quote on here from Professor Dumbledore. It says, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies but just as much to stand up to our friends. And then it has the Elder Wand and it has the stars from the American Edition books. <sighs> I really like that one too. And I like that she lined it with red, very fox. I'm obsessed with all three of those. So thank you, Joe, for sending me those. They are definitely gonna get a lot of use. Now we have one last parcel or box. This one has a couple stickers on it. You can see there's a Hogwarts Owl Post sticker. There's a Harry Potter sticker. It looks like the same design that she put on my very first shirt that I opened from her, the black one with the gold stitching. And then you've got Hogwarts on the bottom there. This one is sealed with a little wax seal sticker. Okay, I still have zero ideas what this could be. Okay, so I do think I know what these items are in this box. Joe had talked about embroidering me some dish towels or dish cloths for my kitchen. So let's see if that's what this is. So she knows the colors of my kitchen and how it's themed. I can see that she sent me, oh, this is a big one. So it's kind of a light brown. And it has a golden snitch in the middle. And it says, I open at the close, which Chris has been dying to find a snitch replica that says I open at the close and actually opens with a resurrection stone in it. Just putting that out there because we would love to buy one of those if there's ever a replica made like that. But yeah, we have a golden snitch dish towel. So that is super cute. Oh, there's actually, there's, I think, three of them in here. So that's one of them. And then we have, oh, I really like this one. So this one's white. And you can see that it's like the little sign on the side of the building that says the leaky cauldron. And it has a witch with the cauldron. That one's beautiful. I really like that one. You can see it better on here. I really, really like that one, Joe. I like the Golden Snitch one, but I really like the Leaky Cauldron one. Oh, 
And now this one, this one's really different, the coloring of it, but I'm in love with it. So this one is an orange dish towel and it says Hogwarts Quidditch on here. I love the golden snitch on this one stands out so good with the dark orange. And then I like the black Hogwarts Quidditch around it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of these. I'm going to have to definitely Harry Potter up my kitchen a little bit because I'm obsessed with these. I believe that is everything out of this box, but we do have our letter left from Joe. It says to Magical Alley. Where does she find these things? So this is a Quidditch card. You can see the snitch and the quaffle and just all kinds of fun Quidditch stuff. Let's see what she said in here. It says Magical Alley. I hope you enjoy your goodies. I did get two sizes in the shirts. I wasn't sure what size you wanted. If they don't fit, you can send them back. If there's shirts in there that don't fit me, you bet you that I'm just going to eat nothing until they fit me. She also said I could remake them in the size that you would need. I'm gonna try them on. I think everything will be fine. She says, thank you for being such a magical friend, Joe. And then she put, sorry for the awful penmanship. I'm trying to use a fancy pen. Not awful penmanship. I can read everything that you put in here. I absolutely love that. I'm gonna keep this. And it's Quidditch. I can literally put this on my Quidditch shelf and no one will ever know that it's a very sentimental card from one of my very good friends that I've met through my YouTube channel, which is just so cool. That was insane. There were so many goodies in this box from Joe and I don't even know what to say about it. I loved everything that she sent me. You did such a great job, Joe. I cannot wait to wear every one of those shirts every day in the upcoming future. I love my book cut or my book sleeves. The dish towels are definitely gonna brighten up my kitchen, give us some magic. The potion bottles are amazing. Everything is amazing. That's all I can say about it. If you guys would like to see even more incredible creations that Joe makes, definitely go take a look at her on her TikTok and her Instagram. I will link both of those in the description for you. Joe, I just have to say, I hope that at some point I can send you some things to just make you feel as magical as this unboxing made me feel. I had such a great time and I am just so thankful for everything that you sent me. And I would love to know, and I'm sure Joe would love to know, everyone watching this video, leave a comment and let me know what your favorite item that Joe sent me was. There were so many, I can't even, I can't even pick a favorite but let me know what items you liked because there were so many. They were just all wonderful. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.